there's some problems associated with sexual reproduction. And I don't want to talk about all those social things, like courtship rituals. That's another day. I want to talk chromosomes. Chromosomes. <sighs> Back to asexual reproduction. Cell reproduction with, with mitosis was easy. Think about it. You have, all right, here's, here's a typical human cell going through mitosis. 46 chromosomes. Doubled, split. 46 daughter cells. Now you got two nice skin cells. But now all of a sudden, we're gonna have a problem. And the problem is this. If we wanna come up with a new group of cells called gametes, sex cells, we can't have those gametes just like the daughter cells produced by mitosis. Can we? Now, again, if you go back in the fossil record, mitosis has been around as long as cells has been around, have been around. But it doesn't work for sex. Why not? Well, let's see why not. It's a simple case of numbers. Give me a cell right here with 46, and let's turn it into a sperm and an egg that are gonna fertilize and form a zygote. Now, this is you, okay? A normal human being with 46 chromosomes, all right? Now, let's just say this person is going to now, instead of making regular old, what we're gonna call somatic or body cells, is gonna make gametes. And this happens to be a male person, and he's gonna make 46. Well, are you starting to see the problem? Let me show you. If this is dad, and this is mom, and we're assuming mom's gonna have the, being in the same species is gonna have the same number of chromosomes, and she's gonna make eggs with 46 guys, we got a problem here. Because think about it. Sperm meeting egg. 92? 92? That's not human. That's not gonna happen, okay? And so we come to a new process. So sexual reproduction needs a new process. And I know you know about mitosis, and please don't forget your mitosis lessons. Because, you know, a second ago I said to you, mitosis came first, well guess what? This next process is a wrinkle on mitosis. It's, it's a new wrinkle on mitosis. So what we need is we need not to do a duplicative division as mitosis did. We need a different kind of division. We need a reductive division. When we start to make gametes, we need to reduce. So we need to take a body cell, a somatic cell. Soma means body. A somatic cell. And we need to take that somatic cell and turn it into a gamete. And in doing this, we need to reduce the number of chromosomes. During this process, we need to drop, we need to half the number of chromosomes because that's what it's gonna come down to. Forget all the stuff about genes, forget everything, the DNA, the bottom line is it's all wrapped up in chromosomes anyway, so when we're talking about chromosomes, we're talking about DNA and genes. So we literally have to go from 46 to cells with 23 each so that when dad makes those sperm and mom makes that egg, we can now reunite these or recombine these into a zygote with 46. That's what we have to do. I'm gonna lay some vocabulary on you here. So let's look at this in summary and then we'll take a look at the body plan or the plan for meiosis because that's what we're gonna be talking about. Here's what we're talking about. We need to go from a case where their somatic and is sometimes referred to, if we talk about the chromosome number, we're gonna say that that is diploid. You see the word die there. You'll see why we say that in a second to a gamete. A gamete we refer to as haploid. Now, that's nice, but aren't those just more words? And the answer is, yep. Okay, um, but one more thing. Let's take a look at the chromosome number and we'll make it make perfect sense. If I refer to the haploid number of chromosomes as N, 
what would the diploid number be? Well, that's N. And remember, we went from full to half. N, this must be 2N. So whether you're a human with your 2N equaling 46 or a potato, potatoes are creatures too. You know what? Potatoes have more chromosomes than you guys. How do you like that? Okay, uh, you have to go from the diploid to the haploid in order to do sex. Well, how's this all gonna work? Well, let's take a look at a quick overview. And we're gonna call it meiosis, where we are literally going to take a cell, double those chromosomes, and end up going from a cell with the diploid number to cells with the haploid number. In this case, a cell with two to four cells with one. Does that sound complicated? If you got meiosis, if you have mitosis, meiosis is gonna be nothing.